Hey everyone, today I want to discuss how to remove backgrounds from an image in Adobe InDesign. There's two ways that I want to show you how to do this. The first is using clipping path options to remove a background. The second is using the pen tool in combination with the pathfinder settings to remove a background. So let's get started. Okay, so on my screen here, I have a photo of a ball cap. I want to remove the background from this. The first way I'm going to show you how to do this is go up to, actually first click on the image once with your selection tool. Go up to Object, Clipping Path, Options. It's going to bring up this Clipping Path window. The first thing you should look at is the type of path that you want. Now because we're doing this from scratch, and the background is still in, in effect here. I'm going to click that and I'm going to click detect edges because I want InDesign to detect those edges and do the work for me. So I'm going to click that. Next, I want you to look at threshold. This is important as I'm going to adjust this to the right and you're going to see that the background will be removed. Now I tested this out. 45 is a good starting point for this hat. You could see because my image had a, a white or a light gray background, that that was a pretty simple uh, transition to remove that background. Tolerance, this is another important uh, slider to look after. It gets rid of the stray pixels that may still be uh, appearing on your clipping path. You could see in the middle here that there's some, there's a few, I have four um, anchor points still here and even if I adjust the threshold all it's going to do is it's going to eat into my hat even more and in fact it's going to remove the emblem on my cap. So let me go back to 45 and instead I'm going to focus on tolerance. I'm going to adjust that to about 6 and see if it solves any of my issues here. There's one anchor point left so maybe just adjust it a little bit more and there you go so it's removed all the anchor points within the ball cap it's removed the background but oftentimes um, maybe you still want to bring this path in a little bit that's where you would do that right here an in inset frame if you want to bring out the path add a negative value if you want to bring it in add a positive value. So I'm going to put one inch. And hit tab. And it's adjusted. You could see there it brought in the path ever so slightly. This is important if um, maybe you have um, maybe a few other uh, shadows that you want to remove within a subject or you want to bring in that path. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to hit OK go back to my selection tool and now you can see that I have a pretty straightforward simple cutout just basically using the clipping path options. Next up I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool as well as pathfinder to remove a background. On my screen here you can see I have a cutout of a man. I've already previously cut it out. You can see there's no background. I'm going to show you how to remove the background from the same image which I have down below. What I want to do first is click on it once with my selection tool and I want to bring in the right hand side. I'm just going to position it in the middle of my page and now I can start with my um, cutout. I'm going to click on my pen tool. You can see if it's, if it's on add anchor point or delete anchor point just click and hold for the flyout and select pen tool it'll default to pen tool. If it's not, you can also hit P on your keyboard and it will bring up the pen tool. I'm going to zoom into the upper left hand corner and make an anchor point right on the corner of the border of the image. I'm going to make my way down to the left hand bottom corner and do the same thing. And then I'm going to start cutting out my subject. So I'm going to start making an anchor point right there because I'm going to work my way up and go all the way around. So I'm going to click right there, right up here. And so when you make a pen tool, um, when you're when you're actually cutting stuff out, you can just make short kind of anchor points and cut your way around. But you can also click and then drag. You can also hold down your Option key and 
click the last anchor point and then start over. So if, if you're if you're gonna find that if you're in a position with the pen tool, um, maybe you've gone too far, Command Z or hold down Option and click your last point and you can start off fresh. So obviously if I'm going around his jacket like so, so it's very similar to using the pen tool in um, Illustrator or, or uh, Photoshop. And I'm just doing this pretty quickly. One thing I like to do as well is um, I stay maybe, you know, ever, you know, half an inch or so within the subject or less than that, just so when you cut them out, um, there's no uh, white areas because then you can run into problems that way. So um, then you would have to use the pen tool again to kind of uh, go over that area. So again, I'm doing this pretty quickly and then I'm just maybe actually just can't see make a longer one here. It's good. And this doesn't have to be perfect right away. Take some practice and getting used to when you're using the pen tool. And I really suggest you zooming into the to the level that I'm at right now, which is if you can see in the bottom left hand corner of my actual screen, I'm zoomed in at about 4,000%. And if you're doing this at 100%, you're not gonna be as precise. And obviously, again, I'm just going, I'm going around pretty quickly at this point. I would take a lot more time if I was doing this for a client or for a job that I was working on. Um, but again, I'm just going through it pretty quickly. I'm gonna wrap, I'm gonna keep going here and uh, wrap this up, this clipping path up, and then we'll continue on. Okay, so I'm almost done this clipping path using the pen tool. I'm just working my way down his jacket now. I'm gonna wrap it up soon here. I'm almost at the end point. And then I wanna show you how I complete this. So you can see I'm down to the final steps. And I'm just gonna click near the bottom right there. Make my way down to the right hand corner bottom. Click that anchor point right at the corner. Move your way all, move your way to the top and do the same thing. right in the corner and then I'm gonna move all the way to the left and I'm gonna close the path by clicking the first anchor point you can see in my cursor there there's a little circer, circle to signify that is the end point so let's do that so I have a complete path here you can see the anchor points around my subject I started up here in the top left bottom left did the cutout and then click the last two corners and then closed it. One thing I wanna mention is this technique works best if a subject is coming out of a frame, much like you see here where he's coming out of the bottom part of the frame. And that's, for this technique, this is the best way of doing that. I'm gonna go back to my selection tool, click anywhere on the white space, click drag, I've collected the frame of the image and the path together. Let's go up to Object, Pathfinder, Subtract. You can see that removes the background and let's just bring it up to the, um, I'm just gonna swap these out just to show you. I'm gonna put on my guides here by hitting W and I'm gonna bring this over here and it's good to have the cutout come out of the page. I'm going to increase this in size and this is important um, because this was done in InDesign. If I move any of the outer anchor points within or the handles, I should say, on the picture frame, watch what happens. It's just gonna shift the clipping path over. So I'm just gonna hit Command Z and if you ever wanna resize um, a clipping path within InDesign, hold Shift Command, grab one of the corners and drag it out. And then you can adjust as needed. And then let's take a look. 
Obviously you can put text behind, you could put shapes behind, you could put colors behind. Um, so that is how you remove a background using the pen tool and Pathfinder subtract. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up on YouTube and follow my channel for more tutorials within the next few weeks. Take care, have a great day. Bye now.